Welcome back to Sportswire. Deep run at home, taking on Atley opening night on a Monday night. This game couldn't be any better. These two teams would be involved in a seesaw affair. You saw number 40 coming out. Big old Jason Morgan, the center for deep run, gets things started early. Gets two and one. Wasn't great at the free throw line. Still would be a force for deep run early and often in this one. Atley shooting over the deep run zone. Deep run went zone. And Atley went man to man mostly in the beginning of this one. Reed Taylor on that three ball. And then Atley also was able to do this a lot, get turnovers. But big block right there by Max Abear. That was a huge moment. Guess what, folks? Every point matters, including that three ball by Knox Axel. You never run out of Axels in the 804, do you? Very popular, very big, big name. Deep run coming back with a three ball of their own. Will Schwab. And then just for the end of the quarter, nobody guards a shooter at the buzzer. A free look, and he drains it. Buries it, Matthew Shields. And it was 13-7 at Lee. Six-point lead after one second quarter. This guy can shoot, and he was huge. Victor Smith. To the Victor go the spoils, and Victor had spoils to give. Shot, no. Atley in transition. On the move, extra pass. Yes, sir. Raiders maintain their advantage. Good work out of a break. Wildcats, however, battling. The zone in this scenario, and they beat it very well. Number three, with three, Will Schwab. We got some kids that can score on this deep run team, including to the victor go the spoils, Smith. Top of the arc, another but nylon. Smith hitting three balls in bunches. You want more Smith? You got him. Victor Smith. Back to Smith from way downtown, got that one to go. The money ball is good for Victor. V for victory and Smith had it going. He would lead scoring for the Wildcats. Atley though had answers. Count it for two and one. Number five, Jason Turpin, 30 to 24. Atley maintaining their six point lead at the break. Second half, who else but Victor Smith from the corner. This time the other side. He nails that one. Wildcats would go on a little bit of a run, but Atlee would stay in it with plays like this. This really worked. The, the extra cut back door knocks Axel, knocks that one home. A staple of their offense. Wildcats coming right back with who else? Victor Smith showing his mid-range game, knocks that one down for two. And then, well, the ball was all over the place. Follow it. Atley got out rebounded by Deep Run, but they also turned Deep Run over more. So, kind of punch, counter punch. There's the big guy. If you fail once and you don't succeed, try, 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 try again. Five straight offensive rebounds. He almost broke my YMCA Simsbury record for most consecutive offensive rebound in one possession. He missed by two. He scores two, and again, big down the stretch is Jason Morgan, 36-34, Atley only by two. We go to the fourth, big time moment for Morgan. Knocks down the layup, he had double figures. Moments later, three ball, yes sir. Kamoy on UK from way downtown. And before you knew it, deep run is in the lead. Pass inside, slam a jamma for Quentin Morgan. Wildcats can taste victory, but Atley not done yet. The floater, good. Well done, well executed. Maddox bowls, and then watch the bouncing ball. I said they turned over the Wildcats. That was the bugaboo of deep run, and bowls converts. Atley right back in it. Later, more Atley defense. Another turnover. Bulls passes it out for three. No, rebound. Yes, Atley back in front. That was Jason Turpin. But deep run, biggest play of the game. Came late in the fourth, number 11. Max Abair for two, count it, and the foul. Deep run up 52-51, 2.5 seconds left. 
They get a good look for three. Oh, and it's off the backboard. And the Wildcats survive a wild one. They win their home opener, 52-51 the final.